Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about specifically the Castle Creations XLX2 and what does make that such a good speed control. We're gonna get right into it right away here and I'm gonna start off by comparing this XLX2 electronic speed control to an airplane ESC. This air ESC is designed around 130 amp continuous capacity, which is pretty decent decent for any type of electronic speed control. And you can see the size difference between the XLX2 versus this airplane ESC. There really is not much of a comparison in terms of the size difference. The XLX2 absolutely trumps over top of this 130 amp speed control. They don't specifically, Castle I mean, give specifications for the XLX2 in terms of how many amps it can withstand, but we'll get to that here very shortly. So number one on the list, as to why this is such a good ESC is just because of its physical size. You know that an ESC that is this large packs quite a few electronics in there that are quite beefy in terms of strength and that's what's going to give you the reliability and the power handling capability that this ESC has to offer. We know that this ESC is designed around the one-fifth scale market and it serves its purpose extremely well for that market and it is also very well well known for the guys that are doing speed runs which really are harsh on electronic speed controls by nature. And since we're talking about the physical size, another point that I want to bring to your attention is that this has mounting holes right on the bottom face of the electronic speed control, making it very easy to bolt this speed control into your radio control vehicle. If you're using this electronic speed control, let me know in the comment section below, what vehicle do you have this in and how many amps have you been able to pull from this ESC? When we look at the wires that this speed control uses, it does use eight gauge, which is perfect for its application. And the wires that you would plug into the ESC on the motor side are designed around eight millimeter bullets. This is perfect for this type of power handling capability, which definitely makes this electronic speed control well suited for those high power output requirements. Since we're on the topic of using eight gauge wire, I wanna bring this to your attention. If you search a wire gauge versus max current amp chart, this is often a question that we get here on the channel. You're gonna to find tons of results. If we dial into any one of these, they're all gonna be roughly the same thing. Let's take a look at what Home Depot is showing us on their amp conversion chart. So we have eight gauge wire using the XLX. And if we look at the specs here, it says that we can use anywhere from 40 to 55 amps as a max for our eight gauge wire. The key point here is that you cannot use any of these amp charts to directly relate to the radio controlled hobby. They're not gonna translate the same and this simply will not work. I did a video on this previously. I'm gonna leave a link to that video in the description below for you to check out if you wanna learn more about this very thing. And speaking of power output, one of the things that Castle Creations doesn't do is label their ESCs in terms of the power handling capabilities that the car ESCs are able to handle. And there's a numerous reasons that this is true, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna specifically look at what we've been able to capture within this electronic speed control. I myself have pushed this thing up. You can see here, here's a data log that shows my speed runs that I've made. Nothing too crazy, but what is kind of crazy is the current that this thing is capable of handling. And the current that I've been able to hit numerous times with this speed control is between 400 and 500 amps and it handles it no problem. And you can even see the temperature right here in this graph that it's at about just under 60 degrees Celsius from a 400 plus amp pole. That is exceptionally good and I was not able to do that on any of my previous ESCs that I've used for this type of application. I'd be well over 80 degrees on my next best electronic speed control that I would use just to hit a much slower speed than what this ESC has allowed me to hit. So the power handling capability of this electronic speed control is absolutely incredible and you can see that just from this graph. Another point here that supports the whole power handling capability argument is that this ESC often is converted for the guys who are running these in radio control boats. They convert these to run in the boats and the reason why this is important is because boats 
boats draw a tremendous amount of power when they're operating essentially at 100% throttle for the entire duration of the battery. In a race, that's what you can do with radio control boats because the water pushes really hard on the vehicle and slows them down to a point where they're not actually traveling as quick as a radio control car or airplane would be traveling at the amount of power that you are demanding from this speed control. So these guys are using them because this ESC is good and what did Castle do? They actually came out with a water version of this, a boat version of this that we did speak about in a previous video. With a lot of setups out there, guys are running cap packs to help address ripple voltage concerns within their setups. Oftentimes, these high demand type setups are pulling so much power, they induce a lot of ripple voltage within the ESE. And it is this ripple voltage that can actually kill the ESE, making a paperweight out of it. So rather than going down that route, placing a cap pack within your setup will help reduce it. For the Castle XLX2, this ESC is is absolutely really good at handling and managing ripple voltage within your setup. In fact, all of my top speed run vehicles, I have three of them, they do not use any type of cat pack simply because the setup that I am running doesn't need it. If you guys are anything like me, you can certainly appreciate the value in being able to download data logs that come right from your electronic speed control. Well, this XLX2 has one of the best current sense resistors on the PCB that Castle has ever placed into an electronic speed control. In addition to that, the resolution that you can get out of this ESC is the best that they've ever placed into an ESC at the time of its introduction. The resolution of the XLX2 is 0.1 amps. I'm super excited to see the next iteration of this ESC when it does come out for the XLX2. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.